Exclusive news at ASRock's headquarters. This year, Intel has released a new Pentium 20th Anniversary Edition CPU to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Pentium brand. We've also heard that ASRock has been working on motherboards to support the CPU. Now let's go check. Hi Sean. Hi. Tell us more about our new Pentium 20th Anniversary Edition motherboards. Hi everyone. Uh, my hand, this is a Z97 Anniversary motherboard and uh, this is the Micro ATS from Fatter is Z97 and anniversary motherboard. Okay, uh, everybody should know that Intel just announced the Pentium anniversary CPU in a couple of weeks ago in the Computex. And uh, the, this year is a very special year because this is the 20th anniversary for the Pentium branding. Okay, so the Pentium anniversary CPU is a kind of different like an old Pentium CPU. The Pentium and the first CPU can be overclocking, okay? For the multiple side, uh, multiple manufacturer may, maybe just update the, the micro core and in, in the BIOS, then ClamD will support the Pentium and the first CPU. But as well, not only update the micro core, we have the specific uh, utility in the BIOS, and then we, we can let you easily to select the, the boost frequency you want, and uh, you can just very easy to boost the Pentium and the first CPU. Do you have a motherboard set up that can show us this Pentium anniversary boost? And we have a live demo system in here and I will show you how to enter the Pentium anniversary boost utility. Okay, just hold on your system and press the P key on the keyboard when you show when you see the S Rock oh, logo. Yeah. And uh, here this is the Pentium anniversary boost utility. The, there are four uh, options in here and uh, the first one is uh, the default frequency that's the 3.2 GHz for the Pentium anniversary CPU and uh, the other three you can choose uh, uh, the frequency you want to boost to the 3.8 or 4.0 or 4.2 GHz okay and uh, let's try the 4.2 yeah, GHz sure. okay? Let's do it. okay just uh, select the 4.2 and press the enter okay this um, system will uh, reboot and uh, going to the. So when it boots up, it's 4.2 gigahertz. Yes, yes, right. Okay. 4.2. Okay, and let's use the CPU Z to check the CPU frequency. Okay. That's pretty fast. Then you can see that the pendant the first CPU is showing here, and the frequency is running at 4.2 gigahertz right now, and you can see that the motherboard is ASRock Z97 anniversary. Okay, and uh, this is the option we we offer to the user can easy to use to overclocking and uh, if you, you you want to boost more frequency you can enter the bias and then select and then setting by, by yourself to the to the more frequency they try to maybe higher frequency yeah let's go higher and uh, now we are into the SRA UEFI bias and uh, you can see that this is a new interface for the UEFI bias now we're trying to overclock the Pentium 20th and the first edition CPU to the 4.8 GHz and right now you can see that uh, we set a CPU ratio at uh, 48 okay and uh, something uh, necessary setting including the, 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 the voltage something like that then we save and restart. Now we already in the windows and uh, boost the CPU frequency to the 4.8 GHz. Now we use the CPU Z to check the CPU frequency. Okay, now it's working at 4.8 GHz right now. Okay, so you can see that uh, not only we with SRAM mode will not only just uh, you know update the bias, but we also uh, really tuning about the performance and uh, also use uh, some specific utility like the painting and the first boost for, for our user. So we're saying that other motherboard manufacturers merely update the BIOS to support Pentium Anniversary CPUs, but ASRock is the only one to come with the Pentium Anniversary Boost yeah. so that it can uh, overclock the CPU up to 4.8 gigahertz. I think that's pretty impressive. Yes. So, um, other than the overclocking abilities, does these motherboards come with other cool new features? Yes, not only the overclocking, because uh, I believe user will not only use computer to do the overclocking, they may need to the network and the listening music, something like that. So, for the network, we use the Intel LAN. 
okay? With the Intel Lane for, for user that can be searched for the Google and you should know that the Intel Lane is, uh, everyone know that there is a very good uh, quality uh, Lane controller. And uh, for the audio parts, we use the Realtek audio and uh, but, but the audio capacitor, output capacitor is using Elna audio capacitor. That, uh, the Elna audio capacitor is using on other brands, very high-end motherboard, okay? And uh, not only high-end motherboard, we're using the Elna audio on the Z97 and the first three. So if you want to uh, listen to music with a very high quality the audio playback, this one can be, can be, can, can be reached to your, your request. So these two motherboards are the best motherboards that support Intel's Pentium 20th Anniversary Edition CPUs. And what makes them stand out is that they both ha have support for Pentium's Anniversary Boost so that they can be overclocked to high frequencies. Other than the overclocking ability, they are also equipped with a high-end Intel LAN and also with a very good audio solution with the uh, Elna audio capacitors. Thank you, Sean, today for introducing us to these two wonderful motherboards. Now, Thank you, too. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for watching.